Hello DCS world, this is Brian from Polychop Simulations and today we'll be doing a quick startup of the Gazelle. Um, just to show you that this is actually a very simple helicopter to start up, so uh, without further ado we'll get going. Uh, first thing I'll just uh, get this pilot out of the way here and turn these UV lights on so we can see what we're doing on the panel. Uh, they're hardwired directly into the battery so it doesn't matter if the switch is on or off they'll still be able to come on. Uh, speaking of battery, we'll go ahead and turn it on the ALT and Jenny switches to the up position. Uh, this is your fuel pump switch. You want to go ahead and turn that on. Let it run for uh, about 20 seconds so we can start this little timer here. Get this here. Okay, once we get to 20 seconds, we turn the DEM switch to the up position. That'll get your turbine going. Okay, and we're waiting for the long needle to get to the 25 position. Okay, just about there. And when it gets to 25, we'll go ahead and shut this rotor brake. And let's go ahead and close our doors. Okay, with the rotor brake disconnected, you want to bring the throttle up about a uh, quarter to halfway. And then you'll see the rotors start spinning. And basically what we're doing here is we're waiting for the rotor RPM to match the turbine RPM needle. Once that happens we can advance to full. And there you have it. And we'll push the throttle up to full. I'm using the page up key. It's a little smoother. Okay, wait for the engine to get to full power. And there we go. So we got full power, now we can start turning things on. Uh, first thing we'll do is we will turn the trimmer switch on here, the magnetic brake here. Get our autopilot system warmed up. Nav system can go to the tear position. I'm sure I slaughtered these French words, but and the navigation system is fully functional I don't have any waypoints in right now so this is just a quick startup um, next thing we'll turn this gyro switch to GM that basically aligns our navigation system you can turn your RWR on uh, flares you can turn on down here by putting that to the VE or LE position okay and now we're waiting for the gyro to align. You see these two barber poles when they disappear. Um, we'll pretty much be ready to go. And you can also, while we're waiting, we can turn our anti-collision and position lights on. Don't forget to center your uh, ball. Attitude indicator and uncage the standby. Push it in, scroll, and center it. and you can see our navigation system is aligned the error code went off the nav panel our uh, stability augmentation and autopilot is set up uh... that's about it we're ready to go so we can just uh... 
lift off right quick and zoom on out of here. Alright guys, that about covers it. So on behalf of Polychop Simulations and uh, all of us there, I'd like to uh, wish you a good night and hope you enjoy the video. Please leave questions in the comment section or on the forums. We'll be happy to answer them. Take care.